Let's see if I can get you to have some fun here. <laughs> Old Fumble Mitt strikes again. The catchphrase is, now you're thinking like Dan. Oh, there he is. Most people don't throw these in a fire. They don't do that. There goes a responsible young golden boy with a little golden stash. That's how you do it. To start the season. Terry. It's Terry, the, the confidence, confidence steal. Come on, Terry. Get with it. Get your act together, you little bozo. Right, Give him a good thrashing. Yeah, Terry is not on his game today, I'll tell you that. Gee, my name, Christmas. So here we are, we got about three hunts left before Snow Goose hunts, which we'll have three or four of those. But we've been shooting geese on the river and today duck hunting actually opens up again in this area. So we're back on the river today. We got a full load because we're trying to pack for goose hunting and duck hunting here. And Golden's determined we're gonna take everything in the kitchen sink. That's right. Well, we had to leave the kitchen th sink, but we're taking everything. Yeah. And coming back, she's here. She's ready to go. She's back off the pup list. She's ready to roll. And also here is old Nevin. Last time yeah. you saw him, he sh he busted a double on a flush. Oh yeah. Pintail and a gadwall. There is the golden hideout. I think he is looking for a very special member of the team. What you got there? I almost forgot him. I've been leaving him out. What you got? We got little Terry. It's Terry, the, the confidence steal. His decoying skills are quite unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Without Terry, we wouldn't shoot a thing. So Aiden found Terry, the confidence steal, out hunting by himself on opening day in this area. And ever since, he's been pounding him and slaying him. In fact, Golden has 99 ducks. One more duck for Golden's 100th duck. You're lucky you get the hunt today. Yes, I am. 40 degrees. <laughs> Look who else is here. That's even safer than the doctor allows. I know. You see the bottom? Goose circling. Circling and circling. What's the deal? What are we doing? We're hiding out, waiting for Elliot and Nevin to kill something. So yeah. we can go in and kill something. That's right. We only got two shooting spots. Two down the river very close. Now he's circling. Started to turn into him and then changed his mind. We've got a couple of swans floating down the stream here. They're starting to hum a little bit. That's a funny sound they make. Elliot and Nevin have come up here to the bank and we just put one guy down in there with Aiden. See if two, two people down there is just too big of a deterrent. At this point, we have not filed, fired a shot, and we're about an hour and a half in on hunting time. So I ask, is this a horrible hunt? As a younger person, I would have probably thought so. But as I begin to understand what hunting is all about, I realized that I am out in God's creation. I am seeing waterfowl all over the place, including swans. 
It's a beautiful private place on the river. This is not a horrible hunt. I like to say every hunt is an adventure. Some of them not so pleasant adventure. <laughs> but this one is a pleasant adventure. There are geese all over the place. We just haven't figured out a way to get them in. Or we're just flat out not in the right spot. Candy thinks it's horrible. <laughs> All she cares about is getting ducks. She said, this is a horrible hunt. But I disagree. It is not a horrible hunt. You know what? No takers, even with Terry, the confidence teal. Come on, Terry. Terry's right there by himself, right in the landing zone. <laughs> get with it. Get your act together, you little bozo. Terry is slacking. Yeah, Terry is not on his game today, I'll tell you that. So we're still trying to figure out how to, how to get him to work. And so we've decided that it's time to move Terry, Terry the confidence teal. So, <laughs> give him a good, give him a good thrashing. <laughs> I thought he was really gonna spike him. <laughs> Terry's gonna go to timeout over here because like Terry. Terry, I mean, he's trying his best up. <laughs> Terry's not really doing. Oh man, he really is going to timeout. You know, when you don't produce, you get put on the B team. <laughs> oh man, Terry, he's really putting Terry a long ways away. How awesome would it be if something went and landed right by Terry? <laughs> Ooh, who are they on? Yeah, they're low. Hey. Finish him off! Let a dog get him! Golden dropped one. Izzy's not gonna get it because Candy's gonna beat her to it, but I want Izzy to run off some energy. Yeah, we could have shot at those here. Yeah, that was kind of a long shot for twos. I don't know if I got that or not. On my edge of my range. You didn't get it? Well, they swung up. I was in transitioning. They kind of swung up over me, and I didn't. I had them the whole way, but then but. I was surprised he took that one. Come on, Ken! It's a bird. Terry was the problem all along. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was Terry. It was Terry. Terry you that happened sure. like literally three Terry. minutes after we moved Terry away. Terry. It was Terry's fault the whole time. I mean, I was walking back from my blind. As, soon as, as soon as we got rid of Terry, our thing turned and froze. <laughs> Come on, Candy. <laughs> he said, my goodness, this is heavy. Candy. Old Nev's out there waiting. I hope something good happens for him. Well, we're still grinding it out here with our one goose. It's still fun. Old Golden Scout is making himself some chicken noodle soup. Fumbles is up here. Being all fumbly tastic. I think we've got a morale problem here. Need something good to happen. Now that he left, something will probably coast down right in and old Fumbles will pound it. <laughs> what he needs is some Chef Boyardee. That's what that boy needs. Is your morale sinking? Yeah. Some Chef Wardy is just what you need. Oh. <laughs> Alright, the Chef Wardy is in the backpack behind Aiden. There's three cans in there. Yo, Aiden, make me a can. I grab the Chef Wardy. Golden Chef. 
What you got there? Some cheese ravioli. Hey, and you want to put a can of mine on there? He's the golden retriever, the golden scout, the golden chef. Right there. He hasn't lost his golden status for quite some time. I don't think I've ever lost my golden status. Well, you haven't been threatened to lose your golden status. No, Dan, yeah, well, Dan momentarily took it away that one, huh? Yeah, that didn't really count. Though. That was so funny. Dan's like, golden probation, golden <laughs> probation. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I was so confused. You don't have to make it for me. I just asked you if you're gonna make it. <laughs> I've got a can of soup. Golden probation. Yeah. Golden probation. You didn't offer to drag it all in there. Golden probation. Golden probation. <laughs> that was funny. I love that when what he did, did that. It was so funny. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things from the whole season when Dan said that. Something about the way he said it was so funny. Golden probation. Fumbles? Oh my god. Oh man. Well, we had two beautiful mallards come and hover right over the mallard decoys. And old Fumbles whiffed away. Alright, I guess it's my turn to lay in there. Yeah. Alright. I'm going in. Well, Fumbles is out, and Elliot's in. <laughs> Not even working the river right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm ready to go too. From eight and one and thirty more minutes, so. Sure. <laughs> he is a golden jerk. Golden probation. <laughs> But today has been enjoyable, right? Right. I have a I have a deal earlier in the tape in, in which I asked the question: Is this a total flop, horrible hunt? I've still enjoyed it. The answer was no. No, this has still been fun. I mean, on the fun scale, my last hunt was a thousand, and this is about <laughs> a five. But. <laughs> Nope, they're gonna go to those crop fields, aren't they? But they had different body language, that's for sure. They're still. Yeah, they're gonna go over. In that field. We give up. The ducks and geese have won. And we're out of here.